Hi everybody, how are you? Born with a veil, 313-401-3707. So, I don't know, I just did a video. But anyway, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna shuffle the cards um, and see what comes out of them. This is for all signs. Um, I don't know what's coming out of them, but I wanna dig a little bit deeper. I think some people are lying I think that they have a secret life somewhere else. Yep. I think somebody's lying to you. That's what I'm picking up. Somebody's lying to you. They're not telling you the truth. Okay. But you're going to find out the truth. Okay. In the month of December. So what I'm seeing is, and I'm not going to show you the cards. You can listen to me. So uh, let me pick a card here. Um, and let you just focus on that. Okay. Gives you something to look at while I'm talking. So this is for all sun, sign, moon, and rising. So what's happening is I see, because usually I tell you the card or whatever, I'm not going to do it this time. So what I see is someone that is very mature and responsible that's going to enter your life. Okay. They might be a little bit older than you. Not much in some instances, but some they will be, okay? This person that enters your life is going to be very reliable. See, some of you are going to meet somebody because you've been in some messed up relationships and they have taken advantage of you. They've lied to you. They played around on you. Sneaky and conniving, double dealing, okay? So you are going to meet somebody new. And see, the thing is, they don't know they're going to meet you and you don't know you're going to meet them. It's just going to happen like magic, okay? Now, this person, once they meet you, you meet them, both of you or one of you are going to be very persistent, okay? This person is very organized too. They know what they want. And this person is very different from the person that your ex is, the person that you've been dealing with. Um, this person is a very dependable person. So you'll be able to count on them, okay? Now, as you've got this card here. Now, there is a younger man that's coming to some of you too. It was an older man, not by much but a little bit older. Now, this one that some of you are going to meet, he's going to be a little bit younger, okay? And that's what scares me with younger men, especially if you're a woman around my age, 58, and some jack-of-all-trades comes around and he's 30, 32, 36. That's not kind of like on my level, okay? Um, that would be more of a toy boy or a lover or whatever, if that's what you're looking for. But somebody that would be around my age, just use me as for instance. I'm not looking for anybody, but use me hypothetically, okay? I'm 58, and this young man approaches me. Uh, first of all, um, if you're under mm, 48, uh, I'll, cause see, you don't want to mess with this. See, because I'd be ending up buying you some bubblicious. Um, Pac-Man, Xbox, you know, um, you would be a child to me and I, and, and I don't deal with that. Get you a big wheel. Mm -mm, I don't deal with that. So my point is someone my age would want someone maybe just a little bit younger or around my age or a little bit older. See what I'm saying? Cause I ain't got no time to raise nobody's child. Okay. I'm done with that shit. But like I say, I'm not looking, I'm using me hypothetically. Okay, because older women, they'll want a younger man for sex. Um, and maybe that some of them do fall in love. But the thing is, come on, if you're 65, no, let's do this. If you 80 and got a 20 some year old boyfriend or woman, you are a sugar mama and a sugar daddy. Because ain't no 20 year old going to love no 80 year old person. Please stop with the foolishness. 
okay? You're sitting up there all wrinkled and shit and drawing Social Security, drawing Medicaid and all this other stuff, husband's pension, husband's money. You living in a beautiful home. And you mean to tell me that you feel that you 80 years old and this 20-year-old loves you because of you? No, no, no. I, I, I'm sorry. He's taking you for a ride, boo. Okay, because ain't no 20-year-old want no 80-year-old woman. You are old enough to be his great, 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 great mama. Okay, so that's just the way I feel about it. Okay, um, now this younger person don't even know he's coming towards you either, or this younger person, male or female, okay? And then some of you are very lonely at this time. Some of you... Um, did end a marriage or an engagement or somebody that you were with. You're very unhappy at this time, lonely. You know, um, it is being lonely when you don't have nobody to hold you at night, nobody to make love to you in the middle of the night, ride you like you a black stallion. You know, um, it's kind of hard, okay? Because you're working all the time, you're cleaning all the time, you're doing this, you're doing that. You know, and especially if you got kids. I mean, you want attention too, okay? Um, some of you are going to be losing friendships the month of December too. Um, then I do see you meeting someone, the person that you're supposed to meet. This person is very gift-giving. Um, this person is very materialistic. Um, but they love sharing what they have. Because, see, they've gone through the same shit that you have. Okay? And then some. That's why I say, please never judge a book by its cover. Never judge a book by geek, how geeky they look, how heavy they are, how skinny they are. It doesn't matter what color you are, what nationality. Let me tell you something. We're all humans. We have the same blood. Okay? Just different personalities, just different backgrounds. We were made in God's image. Okay? So, what I'm saying is, don't miss out on your blessing because somebody comes up to you and they may be a different nationality and you're like, whoa, I wasn't raised like that. No, maybe not. But you don't know what God has in store for you. A lot of people miss their blessings because of that reason. Okay. Um, now, there is some suspense in your life. There's suspicion in your life. There's You're going through a lot in your life. Um, you're handling a lot of responsibilities. Um Maybe you're being neglected. Maybe you're raising kids. There's no mother or father there. You're not getting any help. Okay. Um, but this is going to make you stronger. When your children are born, you love them to death. I don't have any children, so I can't tell you um, what it is to be a mother like that because I have none. But the mothers and fathers that do have children and you are a single parent, you love your children to death. You want the best for them. So if you want the best for them, females, listen to me, and males, have somebody around your children when it's time. Stop bringing every time Dick and Harry around your kids because they're going to think that's the normal thing to do. That's what they think that is. That's what life is about. No, it's not. Find you a babysitter. Take your child over a loved one's house. When you meet somebody, date if you want to. There, no one's telling you not to. But stop bringing all these damn hoochie mamas and, and these no good ass men in front of your kids. Okay? That's not healthy. So date outside. Be careful who you who you date. Get background checks. You know, do stuff because you just don't know. I hear a lot of horror stories, okay? And you don't want to come out to be a horror story. So... When you meet somebody that you feel that is you've been in you've been dating for six months to a year, nine months, eight months, or whatever, because you should know after 90 days. Now, Steve Harvey book, you need to get that book. Okay. Um, a lot of men got mad at that book of Steve Harvey, but Steve Harvey told it like it was. I love Steve Harvey. That's a sexy man, honey. Um, but anyway, read his book because he tells you about every man what their intentions are. And I will tell you, I have never been in a relationship and have not, and has never had a title. Okay. I've had my title uh, before 90 days. I've had my title within just a couple weeks or a month. Not even a month, honey. I got my title.
So if you're with someone and you're like, oh, is he the right one? Is he the right one? And you're still dating his ass a year or two years, six years, three years. Um, you need to sit down and think about that for a while. Now, if that's something that you choose to do, that's another story. But every woman needs to have a title within 90 days. Now, if you're just out there dating and you really don't care about that, that's cool. But if you want a title, you need to sit down and think about it, babe. Okay. Um, some of you have a fear of failure. You have a fear of failure. And, and you really don't trust that well either because you've been so hurt and you've been scorned. Now, here comes the children. Okay. Children are important in a partnership. Do you understand that? So, ladies and gentlemen. If you meet a woman or a man of your dreams, looks does not matter, and they have children, uh, don't take your happy ass up in there if you think that you're just going to date the mother and the father and you, you're you not going to have nothing to do with the kids. Only the way that's going to happen is if it's just a booty call or it's a sex thing, okay? Uh, if, a, if a woman and a man got children, uh, you have to accept them too. That's the part of the deal. That's a package deal. If you can't, then you don't need to mess with somebody that got kids. Reach, uh, there's the card retreat. Um, some of you don't need to be in a relationship. Some of you need to um, spend time alone and love yourself and look in the mirror and figure out what you want to do with your life. Okay? Um, now, some of you are dating or with someone and you're kind of thinking, does this situation align with your values and morals? Uh, probably not, some of you. And a lot of you, yes. If you're with a douchebag or a scumbag, okay, um, probably not, okay? Um, everything happens for a reason right now of what you're going through. So if you're going through some bullshit, that bullshit is trying to make you stronger. The universe is trying to make you see something, like what you're not going to take anymore, what you will take, okay? Um, then you've got passion, so you need to do something different in your life with a partner, without a partner, do something that you have a passion for. If you want to sing, honey, sing. If you want to dance, dance. Okay. If you want to build some shit with your hands, build some things. Um, and I will tell you that some of you are with a person that is unable to give you all you deserve. So if you're with a bum, you're going to get a bum. You're going to get a bummy life. Okay, if you're with someone um, that's not doing anything for you, then probably uh, they're unavailable. This person is not for you. Okay, if this person is not working and helping you, uh, maybe um, they're unavailable to you. The universe is trying to show you something, but some of you are not comprehending. Okay, somebody could be promising you the moon and the stars. Oh, babe, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. When, bitch, when are you gonna do it? Because uh, I've been waiting like six months to a year and you haven't done a damn thing for me. Okay? Um, someone's longing for you too. There's someone that is secretly longing for you. Um, someone you may have a feeling that is or someone new. Maybe somebody's watching you. Maybe somebody is just so in love with you. Okay, you know how you see these TikTok videos and say, this is my future husband, but they just notice them because they're so fine or beautiful. Um, now, some of you need to forgive yourself in order for you to move forward. Maybe some of you were in an abusive relationship, a bad relationship, a toxic relationship, a, a, a full of shit relationship, okay? Um, you need to forgive yourself and you need to forgive that person. You don't necessarily have to tell them that. Because they could have been an SOB, honey. Okay? Oh, my God. Um, you have to go to Father God and forgive them so you can move on with your life. Okay? Um, because you want forgiveness for God. They say go to Jesus and Jesus goes to his Father to forgive you. If you can't forgive people in your life and let it go, what makes you think God's going to forgive you? So there's some forgiving that you have to do within yourself. Uh, trust. It is safe to trust the situation. So if you're in a healthy situation and you're in a healthy relationship, this has nothing to do with you. Just sit back and laugh or say, hmm, or whatever the hell you're going to do. Um, Self-care. So the universe is telling you that you need to clear your energy field and focus on yourself before acting. 
listen to what it said. Clear your energy field and focus on yourself for once before acting. Just what it says. Now, some of you are rushing a relationship. Some of you are rushing some shit. Don't. Because everything will unfold in divine timing. So if you're with a moron and you're wondering, is his ass cheating or her ass is cheating? Uh, yeah, they probably are. Okay, if you're wonder, if you're wanting something um, to unfold in divine timing as far as abundance, as far as good health, as far as a good job, a pay raise, know that it's going to probably turn out in your favor eventually. Okay, the timing is not quite right. So some of you are wondering about a relationship. Ah, is it going to work? Are we going to get together? The timing is not right now, love. The universe, you'll know when the universe has someone for you. Because um, the universe is going to bring this person right to you. You don't have to go looking. See, that's where a lot of us fuck up at. Okay? I just told one of my clients today, look. Men are like buses. Honey, one, bull, one bus pulls off, the next bus pulls up, all them bastards get off the bus. Okay? All them women get off the bus. So we don't have a man's shortage we don't have a woman shortage. There's more women than there is men. Okay, but the thing is, if it's not right in divine timing, the universe is not going to let it happen. Maybe there's a reason that it's not happening because that person is not right for you. Okay? And then we got twin flame, this divine counterpart connection. Twin flame is very different from a soulmate. Now, a soulmate and a twin flame together, honey, please. Honey, you will know it. You'll be a totally different person. You have a totally different outlook and a whole, another thing of sex coming your way. It's like you ain't never had this type of sex before. Um, regret, someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. So right now, as you're listening to my voice, Vale, someone is regretting the hell out of themselves for the way they treated you. They want you back, but they're still playing games. Chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. So you could be with someone where the sex is so good, the attraction is so good, you just all over each other. You love each other so much. And that chemistry is a MF. Okay? And your last card is balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. And that happens a lot in relationships. Where one is giving way too much. And the other one ain't doing half the shit that they're supposed to do. Okay, ladies, listen up. If you're with a man or a woman, whatever your sexuality is, and you want to be the man of the relationship, then it's your responsibility to look out for your woman. Okay? If you're two men, uh, you're the manly one, that's your woman. That's your bitch. That, that's your man. That's your woman, okay? I'm just calling it like it is, okay? Because I got gay friends too. So my point is, if you are acting manly or you are a man, okay? That's where the balance comes in. You're supposed to be the head of the household. You're supposed to make sure that your woman, your man is okay in that relationship. Um, That other person, everybody plays a role. Okay, so if you're the man in a relationship, if you're a woman and you're you're a stud, if you're a man, I'm gonna call it like it is. If you're in a uh, two males and you're the man, and that one is your wife or husband, however that role goes, or a man and a woman, woman man, um, and you're the head of the household, you're supposed to make sure that that head of the household is straight. You're supposed to make sure that man and woman got everything that they need. Because I can guarantee you they're going to make sure that they do the right thing by you. They're going to keep a clean house. They're going to cook for you. They're going to freak you down, sex you down. If there's a connection. If there's not a connection, you're not going to get it. Okay? Um, but everybody plays a role. Everybody plays a role. So the role that you choose is the role that you should abide by. Okay? You should abide by And I am so sick of this prejudice bullshit that's going on in 2020. Shame on you. 
for being prejudiced, child. Because as far as I can remember, black and white has always been together. Okay? And it's never going to change. It ain't going nowhere. Look on TikTok, honey. That's all you see. Now, you see white men with black women. Well, go ahead. And I'm going to tell you the reason why black women are going, African-American women are going to white men. Because they know how to treat them. They have a loving relationship. They don't judge their queen. They love the shit out of their queen. Okay? It is what it is. And I am so happy to see that too. Because for that's all you, because, you know, I love a black man. Okay? Ain't no shame in my game. Uh, but the thing is, I think that when the roles are reversed, as far as ethnic, um, it's a little different. Okay? Um, white man don't care. He love his queen, he love his queen. Now, you got you got your men out there that love their queens too, okay? So, if you're in a, this is what I don't understand because I've been through this bullshit, okay? If you love someone of another race, why are you embarrassed to be with them? I don't give a shit if you, Arabic and uh, from Timbuktu, okay? If you are with that person, then you should honor them, you should love them, you should cherish them, you should respect them. It doesn't matter what your neighbors think. It doesn't matter what your fucking family thinks. It doesn't matter what your damn friends think. It don't matter what anybody thinks. If you love each other, then love is love, honey, because love has no color, no boundaries. I'm just saying. So if you're with somebody because of their color, it ain't gonna last. If you're with somebody because you love them, you cherish them, you honor them, you respect them, that's a whole nother ballpark, okay? And it's a damn shame if you marry somebody and you find out later on that they don't love you or you don't love them after so many years. It is a shame. But people outgrow each other, outgrow each other every day, babies, every day. There are some people that have been married six years. They say, shit, I'm done with this. I can't do this no more. Some people have been married 40 years. They get a divorce 20 years. You know, they get a divorce because they just don't want to be in the relationship anymore because it's too toxic. It's too abusive. It's, it's just too time consuming. It's just too much. When you're in love and you're in a relationship, you should be in love. You should let it flow every day. There should be no red flags in a loving relationship. Should not be. Love is love. And I hope each and every one of you find that, the ones that are seeking and the ones that you have that. I'm happy for you, very happy for you. But your time is coming. Um, the universe is going to give you what you want. You just got to keep praying. You got to pray every day. You got you to talk to the universe. You got to talk to Father God. You got to talk to Jesus. You got to keep talking. You got to keep praying. And when it's your time, can't nobody take that man or woman from you because God chose that person for you. Okay? So this video is longer than what I wanted it to be. Um, if I offended anyone, I'm sorry. Uh, but I am outspoken. I'm far from prejudice. I ain't prejudiced at all. Trust me, anybody that knows me knows I am not prejudiced. I speak my mind. I tell it like it is. Sometimes I wish I could follow what I spit out to you guys, but it's hard for us. It's hard for anybody to, if, you know, you always got advice for other people, but sometimes it's hard for you to take it. And that's natural. Nobody's perfect. Okay. So I wish you well. If you'd like a reading, 313-401-3707. God bless. And have a great coming up weekend. This is Born with a Bell.